The Emerald Shiner, a small lonely fish in a big river, or together, the mightiest living being in the Great Lakes. Let's take a look at this overlooked little guy on today's featured fin. The humble Emerald Shiner, at first glance, is an unremarkable little creature anglers and divers alike overlook for grander things. At a glance, there isn't much to look at, even amongst its peers. Just one of 38 species of minnows native to the Great Lakes and 685 species worldwide. Minnows are unique in the fact they lack teeth in their mouths, instead having them in their throats. They top out at roughly 3 inches and can, under ideal circumstances, live to be 5 years old. The emerald shiners can be identified by their large eyes, short snouts, and distinctive green color. If you can catch them under the right light, they can shift from clear, silver, blue, green, and yellow depending on the lighting. The unnatural ability of shiners to move as one bean instead of a disorganized mob is aided by an inner ear that allows them to communicate with each other. They are an incredibly strange combination of being very shy and very friendly. A calm, slow approach or bringing lights and waiting can reward you with thousands of new friends, or in some cases, hundreds of thousands. Truly massive hordes of shiners feel as intimidating as a great hurricane and can oftentimes swallow and disorientate a diver in their midst. This I can speak to with personal experience. While filming this particular group of shiners, they enveloped me and I quickly lost orientation and could no longer determine up from down. Should this happen to you, simply purging on your regulator is sufficient enough to scare the shiners away as they are incredibly sensitive to loud noises. Shiners are eager to seek friends for good reason. They have many enemies. When they move up in the open water, they are attacked by nearly every fish. Bass, walleye, and trout lurk below their schools and strike upwards at them. Perch mix into their ranks and attack anyone not paying attention. Despite heavy losses, their numbers grow more and more every year, it seems. The Emerald Shiner is a full-time resident of the St. Clair River, but can most reliably be seen in the winter and spring months in quiet, slow points. They most reliably school in May, and that's when most of their predators come out to feed on them. For divers wishing to get close, I'd recommend going at night, as shiners love to bask in dive lights. While often just considered a bait fish, this fish deserves more respect than what is generally given, as the entire ecosystem rests on its small shoulders. Without schools of shiners, all the predators that anglers love to catch and divers love to see would simply starve. They are, for those patient enough to look at them, and with good enough camera lenses to see them up close, a spectacular, beautiful, and curious fish whose company I enjoy every time I see. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the Emerald Shiner. Please leave a comment and a like and tell us what fish you want to see next. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Dive often.